hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel in this video i want us to look at a plugin called file manager and this plugin is a very good plugin that would help press users especially new ones who find it very difficult trying to manage their website from their wordpress and also their web hosting account it's always very very difficult but it becomes very easy if you can manage all of your website files in your wordpress and this is what this plugin would do i just want to walk you through this plugin and show you exactly what and what you can do with this plugin so if you come to wordpress.org as you can see on my screen you should be able to download this plugin however i don't want us to waste so much time trying to do this so let's go download this in the wordpress directory we can just come to plugins and let's come to add new plugins here we'll be typing file manager as a matter of fact there are a number of plugins here that you can use to get the same results but i have not experimented with others this is the only plugin i have used and it has served and it has worked for me over time and if you would check here you would see that this plugin is having 600,000 active installations so I can bet is one of the best plugins out there for you to manage your files so let's install this plugin by clicking the install button okay would we'll activate right now it's wonderful we've got this plugin installed and activated if you check at the bar here somewhere down here you see a place for WP file manager so once you over on it you'll be able to come to your wp file manager try to subscribe to their newsletters by giving them your name and email address if you'd want to but i wouldn't want to do that personally so and also you can give them a rating you can do that later you can you can choose never to read them you can give them a rating after you have tried out using this plugin first things first checking this plugin i want us to start from the very first by our right hand at the top corner you would see that the language we have here is english in case you are using this plugin and you're not using english language or whatever language you're using you can easily find that here and the next thing again we're going to see beside it is the theme and this is the default theme i think this theme is quite is quite simple and beautiful but again you may want to experiment to see other theme that are there i think i think particularly this dark theme is one that is worth checking out okay i think this is good right you may want to check out which one resonates with you i love to leave it at default but for the sake of this tutorial i might leave it at this to the extreme left you would see that this is the free version of this plugin there is a pro version you may want to check that out honestly i have i have not even tried out to see what the pro version looks like at least to know the difference between the pro and the free because the free gets to do everything i needed to do so you may want to check out the pro in case you want more from this plugin so you may want to come here and check out the features here in the pro and you will see all of these things that the pro can do for you and if you think it's something you need then i would advise that you go for it so let's go back to our tutorial we just want to concentrate on the free version and the next thing after these are icons here and these icons would be useful for you one at the time and the beauty about the icons is that you may not you, you may not know what everything is for but if you over around the icons you see a word telling you exactly what each icon is meant for like for example this is for us to switch this view to a full screen and we can do that to see exactly how that looks so this is the full screen and if you come other you see about the software if you want to learn more and you can sort things out with this you can also view icons in case you want to add icons to maybe some of your files or whatever and if you over around all of them you get to see what all those things will do for you and that's the beauty is it's just self intuitive and it's something you should be able to find your way around basically and if you come to the extreme right here you'll see that you have the option for you to search for anything you want to search for 
in case there's a file you're trying to or there's a directory a folder you're trying to look for and you don't even know where it is in the midst of all the folders and the files you can just easily type that maybe it's your config file or maybe anything you can just search for it here and you should be able to access that so basically i think i think that's it for these icons and as we try to continue on this tutorial i might be using any one of them at any point in time and again if you come down again to my extreme left here this is the name of my site and this is the name of your site if you're using this plugin and you see that there are three major folders you see beneath them and every other thing aside from these folders are just files and you should also note that this left hand corner shows folders alone and not files this is the root directory now of our website Karin Dabsbrook and these are the folders we have in the root but if you come down to the right this is also the root and this is these three folders you are seeing here are the three folders here and beneath them are all the files under those folders but unfortunately you will not get to see these files in here because the only thing you can see here in this circle are your folders this is exactly the way our cpanel also would lay out our files so basically i think we should be able to understand that so right now if you want to zoom in into each folder so we can just easily come here and click for example wp admin and let's open the folder so the folder is opened here and it's also opened here and as usual the only thing we are going to see here are the sub folders inside this folder and every other file inside this folder will be able to be seen here so you can see that this folder here end at user and you can see this is where the folder ends and other files that are inside this folder we will get to see them beneath the folder here in the main area so these are all the files that are inside wp admin so if you are looking for any files under wp admin do not search for them here just come down here and look for them because this is how and where you would find all these folders so we can slip this back and let's try to see our wp content basically our wp content carries majorly content on our website from our plugins to our themes to all the media upload this is where you would likely be spending lots of your time in case you want to easily assess your files you'll be spending times around your plugins around your themes around your media upload so if you come down to your plugins and you click this plugin these are all the plugins i have inside my website so for example right now if you right click any of the plugins here you should have a list of options of some of the things you can do you can choose to download these plugin files you can choose to preview it and we can choose to still upload but definitely you know we can upload here because everything is already uploaded and we can choose to rename it and that's the easy way for you to deactivate any plugin so for example if any of your plugins on your on your website is acting up and you want to maybe you have error on your website and you feel there are plugins conf conflicting you can just easily come here and rename the plugin like if i rename this plugin now from elementor I can just easily put old and save it immediately this plugin is being renamed if i go back to my website right now i would see that this plugin elementor would have been deactivated because wordpress would not be able to find the file let me rename it back and return it back to elementor and it should be working fine another thing you can do with this plugin here if you mess around all your files is that we can choose to upload files we can choose to upload our plugins so for example let me say i want to add a new plugin so i can just easily come up here and there's an arrow here that goes up that's us trying to upload this arrow here that comes down that's us trying to download 
in case you do anything in here in any of the files if you do this arrow this is for you to undo what you have done and you can actually also redo anything you have done in case you want to copy anything you can just come here if you want to cut you can cut you can delete and you can paste for example now let's say we want to upload a plugin here i can just easily come here i would and what i can do is that i can just drag the files from my system and dump them here or i can just select a file or a folder from my system and just go directly here this is me trying to drag a plugin here this is a used plugin i'm trying to install i can just drag it there and as you can see there's a very fine upload file name here the plugin is uploading okay yeah we have we got that file uploaded if you notice that i highlighted uh, elementor plugin here so what that means is that the plugin would be installed inside elementor and not inside the plugin directory i should have just click the plugin here if i do any uploading now if i try to upload anything now it will directly install in the plugins directory but i highlighted elementor so now let's open elementor i can just do that by double clicking it and i can also still do that from this place so you can see this is the plugin i just installed i did that deliberately to show you how you can move your files around so let's say for example now i want to move this file right now i would just right click it like i've just done i can choose to copy it if i want to and i can choose to delete it if i also want to but what i want us to do right now is i want us to cut this so from there we can come to our plugins here and we can right click and then we can paste so as you can see we are moving one item so if we go down we can find our moved plugin here so because when i installed this plugin i installed it as a zip file it means this plugin cannot work as a zip file it must be another file like another folder like this for it to work so what we are going to do is that we are going to unzip it and how you can do that with this plugin is by clicking it as you can see you can either right click it and you see a place for you to extract files from archive you can do that here or into a new folder and you can still just come up here and and extract files from archive here so if you click this you will see the same thing here you can just extract the file into a new folder you can see that we are extracting these files already so let's give it time and let's see our files are extracted and you can see we have it here as a plugin so this plugin right now is ready to be used if i go back to my wordpress area i'll be able to see this plugin is wordpress seo premium and that's a used plugin i just installed so we still have a zip file here so we can just highlight it as usual and we can delete it by coming up here or we can still go right click and delete here can do that for your themes your plugin and even for your media uploads is the same way is the same way it works you can transfer your files around you can move them in case you want to move your your files from one plugin to another another thing you can do with this plugin is to back up your files so you can easily do that by by putting all of them into one archive and then you you download them so what you can do doing that is let's say for example we, this is our plugin still we want to back up all our plugin files so what you what you do is for you to come up here and just select all if you click this everything here is selected and once it's selected you can come here and archive it you can create an archive and just make it a zip file let me just name it back zip so 
we are creating the archive already that is done and this is the zip folder what we should do next is to download it since it's highlighted you can right click it or you can just come up here and download so if we click this download you will see that this will be downloading directly into our computer you can see our zip file is downloading here but i will have to cancel this because i really do not need to download all of this you can come to your uploads and still click to access your uploaded medias and you can see them you have them in files for 2018 2019 2020 elementor revolution slider so you have all your all those media in those files so you can do anything you want to do with them for example let me try to open this folder i despite the fact that they are in years i still have them in months so this is october november december let's say i want to open for october i can still open the folder and then i'll be able to see all the pictures all the medias uploaded to my wordpress directory so these are all the folders i have there i can click any one of them here and try to preview so you can see this is the preview of this image and i can just use my escape button to have it go back so there is nothing you can do with this plugin you can delete them you can duplicate them you can cut them you can copy them you can archive them you can download them you can do almost everything with this plugin so let's try to open up the root folder i'm trying to do that i just click this root folder here and we are back at our root folder we can edit so many files here for us to so we can right click our dot htaccess file and you see a place called code editor you can click that so that would open the file in a code editor for you to be able to see the content so this is almost like the default content in, in a dot htaccess file in wordpress and you can choose to edit whatever you want to edit from here and then save and once you save you can also close back for example you can still maybe look for your wp configuration file these are common files that if you want to make some settings to wordpress you have to mess up with you still have to come to maybe your code editor and click it as usual and you'll be able to see your database username the password and you can see your mysql host name so you you see all the configuration of your wordpress website so basically you can do all the editing here and you can save and close or in this case i would love to cancel that so that's exactly how to use this plugin wp file manager to access your wordpress files such that you would never need to always go to your C panel before you can mess around with your file except of course you have a backup of your website please 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 and please any of these files here can break your website if you don't handle them with care if you found this video very useful please give me a thumbs up i try as much as possible to upload videos every now and then to show you some of some of the valuable resources on wordpress you can get for free how you can gain mastery over wordpress even though you are non-techie and you always look like a pro if that's exactly what you want for yourself so subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the notification bell because that's the only way you get to know when i upload new videos thank you very much for your time i'll see you in my next video bye for now